Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paulie, and I am the advocate. And also, I am also a big fan of this man. He is the best in the world. What he does, my advocate, Chuck Mania. Thank you, Paul Heyman. Thank you very much, Paul Heyman. I'm here new, uh, filming with Stubby Stick. And uh, uh, I have a good old thing. We watch WWE Roadblock. And this will be my WWE Roadblock review. And, okay, here's what we did. So, Roadblock was awesome. It was good. But it was much like a house show when you watch. Um, I was predicting it to be real bad, but it was good. Um, also, Chrome, they need to have one thing. They need to fix Chromecast. So, for uh, the WWE Network, have a little button like Hulu and Netflix to do it. So, first up, we have... New day. What's up? Give me some of that booty. Oh, booty. Oh, and yeah, we had them facing against the League of Nations. So the League of Nations was uh, there. That was a pretty awesome matchup. I don't like League of Nations. Don't really like Sheamus. You know, this is how bad people don't like Sheamus. I go to Walmart and put Shane's figure in a cabinet and that for the next day it's still there. You look stupid, but I still got it. Um, that winner was the League of Nations and League of Nations won that. So that was a good matchup. Uh, League of Nations won. And then they lost. League of Nations, sorry about that. I was going to have a brain fart. New Day won, even though it probably could have had a League of Nations won, but to set up Brass but I don't think that that's going to be. And then we had another good matchup of, I think this was like, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, Sami Zayn, I know, the NXT Championship. Um, and Charlotte faced Italian. Now you look so sexy, and thank you for looking so sexy. And yeah, she looked real good. And uh, boy, she almost won it. And she should have. Canada, that was a great match. A great, great, great. <laughs> so sexy. Right, but. Uh, and you saw uh, Ric Flair looking at Charlotte doing, holding my hand. So I can bang you later. I know Hulk Hogan got a 10 inch dick, but I got 11. Whoa! So. Yeah, with that we had that was a good matchup, and then we had an NXT Championship. Enzo Cass, how you doing? And that was a good matchup, and I really thought they deserved to win that matchup, and they did deserve. But that they're getting caught up. Probably, I would say Monday Night Raw, and uh, yeah, so they were caught up. And then we had a uh, another good matchup. Well. I'm not going in any order, but we had Chris Jericho going against we the boobies and oh, we the people and uh, that much of didn't make no sense really. And then we had uh, also had a uh, Sami Zayn oh, 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 going against uh, Starting Dust, and that was a good matchup. They put on the show Stardust. I usually think he's good if it's on the show. We all know where that's going with him and Arrow. So, yeah. And then we had Brock Lesnar against Bray Wyatt. That's much sucked. Because Bray Wyatt was a pussy. Bray boost the bitch. Bray Wyatt's a pussy. He put, a, he said, 2 1 matchup, and then he put. Uh, Luke Harper in there, and I'm like, what the fuck? But Luke Harper went to Suplex City, bitch, and that was good. But next up, we had um, mm, Triple H versus Dean Ambrose, and yeah, that match killed it. That was one of the best matches ever. Uh, Ambrose got screwed, 
he clearly had a pin. His foot, they said his foot was under ropes, but he, it was not under the ropes. You look at the angles, you can go on. It clearly wasn't under ropes, and he should have won in. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. He went to go do the elbow dive, and he missed the table. I give the pay-per-view a 3.5 out of 5. That's much better than the last pay-per-view. The last paper gave me 2.2 .2 out of 5 Chuck Manias. But in the regular scale, I give it a 7.4 out of 10 Chuck Manias. So it's real good. It was a good house show. That's what mostly it was. But here we got special guests. Who is it? Dean Ambrose. Hey, man, I was screwed. Well, I was screwed. Yeah, Dean Ambrose, what do you think of a Triple H? Man, I was screwed so bad, I can't believe it. What the hell? I'm so crazy, I should've won that damn man. And one, two, three, put them dirty deeds. I know. Yeah, you see that shit? I mean, when I pulled, I was like, boom, boom, boom. Then went the elbow dive and then, ugh. Went through the table. I had that pen, Triple H, and suck my cock. Yeah, Triple H. What are you looking at? I hear you, Basca. Oh, I thought that was Triple H. <laughs> that was Triple H. Well, we got Triple H here. Yes, we do. We got Triple H. Interview him. I'm Triple H. And I'm your WWE Champion. Ah, Triple H, what do you think? I won. That was fair, man. The camera's ass on. I went one, two, three. He came on the ring. After nine guys, he should stay down. Cause he go ahead and Dean and Roman Reigns, he gonna get his thing feet. So fuck you, Roman Reigns. You're gonna get it. So yeah, Roman Reigns and WrestleMania, I'm gonna get your ass. But Dean Ambrose Curry won. Hey, I made the damn show, so shut the fuck up. Fucker. Will you hit me again? Bitch. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that's it. Uh, this includes a Road to WrestleMania episode one with a review of Fast Lane. So, so two will come out probably Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever and feature other reviews and other stuff. So thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, peace out. Oh, oh, no, we got action. We got action. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look, we got dirt. Pedigree. Oh, my God. Yeah, fuck you, Ding Ambos. Fuck the fuck in the Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it.